uh, I had this martini knife. It's actually a Rapala. Bought a long time ago. Leather sheath. It's a martini. And uh, had the Scandi grind on it. Full Scandi grind. I figured I'd, you know, see how it works for uh, making spoons and stuff. And it's working out really well. I mean, I've had this. I don't know how long I've had this. I'm talking six, seven years. I don't, never even touched it. But, uh, yeah, it works good for carving. Um, it, it does not have a 90 degree, 90 degree spine, but it's good for the spoons. And uh, this is my cold steel throwing axe, they call it, but it's I call it a hatchet. It's an old dry piece of, uh, of um, smoke bush. It's kind of dry, a little tough to work with. I don't know what's going to happen here. But we'll work on it like we always do. And... Uh, but I was just trying this, uh, see it says right on there, stainless steel martini Finland. Uh, I don't know where I got, I ordered I, I guess, but uh, yeah, nice candy grind on it and uh, works out pretty good. Uh, so looks like I got another little knife for spoons, but it doesn't have a 90 degree spine like the Martini Timberjack, which I'm taking up to the ADK again with me, or uh, taking that up to the ADK along with the MTF full tang in the woods, change it up a little bit. And those I know work good, but uh, I, I wanted to try this and it works, works quite good, man. So I just thought I'd let you know. And uh, feels pretty good. Uh, my wrist is, I should have a, a wrist brace. One time I was hiking on the Mohawk and I fell and a couple times and hurt my wrist. So it acts up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be working on this. Um, long way to go. Got some checks in it, which this wood checks a lot. I don't care. Use it for myself. I don't care. We'll, uh, we'll work something out, man. It's an unusually warm day. Um, but this is New England, man. It's crazy. More sharpening stone, another stone somewhere, a little gouge hidden in here. A little gouge, piece of cedar. So, yeah, this is uh, Quinn the Eskimo messing with a spoon again. So, take care. Guys, um, I'm doing this now because my audio didn't work out when I was making these, so that footage didn't work out. But with my Martini vintage Rapala knife, I said five, six years, no, six years, six, seven years, probably older than that because they seen it online for 37, listed as a vintage knife. But, um, you saw it in the pictures there. But anyways, that's what I did with this knife along with my uh, Beavercraft and Hutzel um, tools. And uh, this one is Eastern White Pine. Going to be for my grandson. It's going to be for my grandson too. This is Smokebush. That's the one you kind of saw in the video. Came out, you know, pretty good. Can barely see the checks in there anymore, but uh, it'll be fine. And then I, the p piece of cedar that you saw in the wood pile next to the gouge, that's what this is. I didn't think this would work out too good, but it's, eh, be functional. Use it for something. And then right now, making a maple maple spoon it's got a long way to go but uh i don't know if i'll finish today i have to do a lot of stuff it's almost getting dark already but uh so i'm always messing with spoons and uh when i was in the adk um i made some knives up there let me just show you this first i, I usually do about four or five applications of walrus oil here 
That's what it is. I always talk about it. And uh, now I just started finishing my uh, all my spoons at the end with one application of uh, Howard's uh, the butcher block. And then I polish it up a little bit. And it works out pretty good. Now, in a pinch, when I was up north, let me show you some spoons right there. I'll get back to you. Made these up in the 80K in the garage there. And uh, they're actually a little bigger. Eastern white pine. And uh, same with this one. Pretty good size. They're they're bigger than the other ones. Let me just show you. You know, you could you could see the difference in the size there. So, but anyways, I did those up there, and uh, this this was hell. It's a piece of uh, a piece of uh, black birch. It was like trying to carve cast iron. Well seasoned. I mean, it came out all right. It's it's fine. It's functional. Uh, not bad, but oh my God, it was murder. So stay away from black birch that's uh, really seasoned. You'll have a hell of a time. But anyways, it's, it's deadly. But we didn't have any oils up there. So I also made a nice white birch spatula up there. And uh, that came out pretty good. Um, came out very nice. I don't know if I'll throw that picture in there. But anyways, we didn't have any oils up there, so these were initially finished with olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And uh, we had that up there and um, worked out pretty good. And then I finished it with the Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner uh, when I got home. So anyways, um, that's what's going on. And uh, I'll try to finish this uh, maple spoon. Maybe today. You got a lot of things going on. Hope to be up in the woods and up by the cabin in the uh, ADK. Always messing with spoons. But I uh, just want to show you. You know, I have my regular beaver craft and hot sills tools and stuff. But basically a hatchet knife, cold steel knife. But that's a little knife. Martini makes the same exact things right now. This is martini knife. But uh, this is a classic. But, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Got one of my moment hats on here now. But, anyways, uh, that's what's going on. And um, hope to see you soon. Thank God for another day. We'll be doing fine, man. So, uh you take care okay so take it easy man fair ride queen eskimo